That edition of QED is among the programmes under review in Sunday's Did You See on BBC Two at 9.30. And some of the special techniques of television programme making are revealed in next week's QED, The Magic Picture Show. Thursday evening on BBC One. After EastEnders, there's more of what's top of the pops at 7.30, followed at 8 o'clock by Only Fools and Horses. There you are. Look, stick it out on the windscreen, will you? Let <laughs> <laughs> me sell this and get something more useful. No what? Like a bus pulse. <laughs> At 8.30, David Coleman shares another question of sport between teams of experts led by Bill Beaumont and Emlyn Hughes. Then at 9.25, Miss Marple begins a new investigation when a body is found with a pocket full of rye. So if I told you he had a pocket full of seed in his jacket when he died, you'd have no explanation for it. Seed? The guests in question time at 10.20 include Tony Benn, Kenneth Clark and David Steele. With highlights of the World Figure Skating Championships at 11.20, that's Thursday evening on BBC One. Newsnight in 10 minutes on BBC Two brings together two couples, one from Kent, who've been at the forefront of the back-to-work campaign in the miners' dispute, and a couple from Yorkshire, who've remained firmly behind the recent strike. This is BBC One, where we now join Harry Carpenter for Sports Night. Good evening. Sports Night tonight brings you top-class professional boxing from here at the Royal Albert Hall. Our new European welterweight champion, Lloyd Hunnigan, has a thorough testing tonight against the American Roger Stafford, who's fought three world champions. Alan Minters here with me to analyse Hunnigan's form, as well as that of the unbeaten Briton Harold Graham, who tonight faces a uh, Frenchman. Well, also in the programme, we have international athletics, cricket and world championship skating. Here now with all the details from our Sports Night studio is David Icke. Thank you, Harry. Yes, shortly we'll see our ice dancers Karen Barber and Nikki Slater at the World Championships in Tokyo and also how the medals were decided in the pairs event. And later on from Australia, we'll have the latest sensation in the World Championship of cricket as Pakistan take on the West Indies. Drug taking among athletes has once again been brought to world attention with six of the Greek team banned from the European Indoor Championships. And tonight, Daley Thompson tells us how widespread the problem has become and how it can be stopped. And we reveal how a combined British team could return to the Olympic football tournament in 1988 with an excellent chance of a medal. First, though, tonight's results uh, and an important night for British clubs in European and domestic competition. The European uh, Cup quarter-final first leg. Good result for Liverpool. Austria-Vienna won. Liverpool won. Tony Polster for Vienna after 23 minutes, but Steve Nicol equalising for Liverpool five minutes from the end. In the European Cup Winners' Cup, another great night for Everton. Everton 3, Fortuna Sittard of Holland 0. Andy Gray, a hat-trick there after 48 minutes, 74 and 76, where the Andy Gray goals 3-0 to Everton. And in the UEFA Cup, Manchester United 1, Videoton of Hungary 0. Frank Stapleton got that goal after 61 minutes. And Tottenham Hotspur 0, Real Madrid 1. A report on that match now from White Hart Lane from Peter Jones. 15 minutes into this game, Butrogenio raced down the right touchline. His cross was low and fierce. It struck the legs of Stevie Perriman and flew into the net off a post. Suddenly, Real Madrid were taller and stronger, with total belief in their many talents. After that, Tottenham had most of the possession. They hit shots just wide and just over. But while Real defended stoutly and intelligently, there wasn't too much service for Mark Falco and Garth Crooks. And the midfield combination of Glenn Hoddle and Mike Hazard came only in fits and starts. On the break, Real were devastating. And in the last five minutes, as Tottenham strained for a goal, Red Clemens had to bring off two stylish saves from Gallego. It's going to be very hard for Tottenham in Madrid. The Milk Cup semi-final second leg, Norwich City 2, Ipswich Town 0. Norwich goals from John Dean after 36 minutes, Steve Bruce 3 minutes from time. Norwich win 2-1 on aggregate and meet Sunderland in the final at Wembley on March the 24th. A match you can see live on BBC One. 
FA Cup, fifth round replays, Watford 2, Luton Town 2, that's after extra time. Watford led 2-0 after 62 minutes through Taylor and Terry, but Wajobi and Ricky Hill equalised for Luton. They play again at Luton on Saturday. West Ham United 5, Wimbledon 1, a hat-trick there for Tony Cotty, and West Ham are now away to Manchester United in the quarter-finals. Canon League Division 2, Brighton 3, Blackburn Rovers 1. That win takes Brighton into fifth place. Division 3, Bradford City 3, Preston North End 0, Derby County 2, Walsall 0, Lincoln City 0, Millwall 1. Those results mean Bradford City extend their lead at the top of Division 3 to 11 points, while Millwall move into second place on goal difference. Division 4, Chester City 0, Crew Alexandra 2, Hereford United 5, Bury 3, and Mansfield 1, Oldershot 2. Fourth division leaders Bury there, well beaten at Hereford, but they stay top while Hereford move up to fourth place. Scottish League Division 1, A United 1, St Johnston 0. Division 2, Alloa Athletic 1, Stranra 2, East Stirling 0, Queen of the South 0, Braith Rovers 1, Stenhouse Muir 2, and Stirling Albion 1, Cowden Beef 1. Well, there's the uh, lineup for Sports Night next week. The uh, Snooker Millionaires, an FA Cup six round replay, should there be one, of course, and racing the Cheltenham Festival, 9.55 next Wednesday. Right, well, I'm just off for uh, what? Four hours sleep before getting up for breakfast time tomorrow. Hope you can join me for that. But until then, it's on Sports Night tonight. Good night. <laughs>